Your voice, your opinion, your community. Fact TV, free speech, protected. Ryan Buck. Um, I just find quick to say um, happy birthday to one of my friends, Rebecca. Um, now I'm going to talk about um, the Keen Popkin Festival. Uh, I think the Keen Popkin Festival went very good this past weekend. Um, I got to see more Popkins this, this year than I have been seeing it in the past year. Um, <clears throat> and there was like a, like a tower, like a big, big, huge stock, huge stock of Popkins in the center square that we didn't have for n nine, <coughs> nine years now. So I'm, I'm happy that they, they got it back. And I'm so very happy that it, it went very good and people helped out of the King Popkin Fast um, and all, all of that too. So I want to Get a big tip of the heart saying thank you to the the staff who helped out with the popcorn fast. Um, and I hope to see it again next year. So yeah, um, I I like the King Popcorn Fast um, with all kinds of popkins. Um, I got to see like cat popkin, which was very interesting, and it's like there's all kinds of popkins out there that people made, and there's like a happy popkin, a scary popkin, and all that. And, you know, uh, all that is pretty good. And also, on top of that, when I went down to the Keen Popkin Fest Saturday night, I saw um, the dark lightings light up. This is very, very nice to see. And they... They did such an amazing job with it, and it it's it was very un unbelievable. That I just want to say, welcome back to King Popkin Fast, and I hope it can continue growing and growing as the years go by because it's a it's a big it's a big event here in Keene and you know that and yeah as we all know and um I also want to talk about quickly the weather again. I know I didn't want it down this time, but I can remember. It's going to be sunny today, high, s I'll probably say in the 60s. And tomorrow, s 
sani sanere sani heis seni fui tiguis and but ko ko anai lost in the forties and sani it's gonna get cool again but it's gonna be sunny and also I want to mention that Halloween of course is coming up it's um, this coming up Tuesday and next Tuesday the 31st and Halloween is from 5.30 to 7.30 and I just want to say be safe out there when you, when you, when you all go take a trade in um, make sure you don't get too much candy of course um, and one one candy at a time as we all know and and yeah um, so that's that and also um, daylight savings is coming up um, it's a week a week from Sunday and the fifth uh, the fourth I should say okay you have to so you clock back so that means it's going to get dark at 5 30 now starting on the 5th of November and also that's like um, in November we got two holidays we have Red Veterans Day, like the people celebrate veterans and in all that. And after that, it's like Thanksgiving, like when the family comes together and we have big Thanksgiving meal that night and the morning. That's like a Thanksgiving <coughs> parade. It's called Macy's. Yeah, Macy's um, Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City. Okay. And that should be on this year. It should. And there's like, oh, I, I like that. I like seeing the Thanksgiving, um, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with all the balloons, um, like Snoopy and others, um, other characters, um, And Santa's too, which is very good. You know, it it's 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 fun. You know, to watch it and say, "Oh, I like that." They they did it for quite some time now, for a very very long time. Okay. It's like this time way back when for the Macy's Macy's Thanksgiving Day parade, and I I love to watch it um, too. So yeah, um, it's like when you watch it, it's like pretty good. Um, also, I, I like, um, 
I'm going to quickly say I like CRJ. Um, they are, far as I know, they are having a Halloween, I think, a Halloween party tomorrow, if I'm correct. Uh, and I just want to say that Charles, when I had Charles on my show, he did a wonderful job, like, saying what he wanted to say, and, and all that, and you did a good job in saying, like, what you want to say, too, that's, that's amazing, and, you know, it's, it's very good to see that, you know, and it's like, I'm, I'm so glad, I'm so happy I can do a show again, and you know, yeah, and I'm hoping to get more guests from our show, so we can talk about what's going on more, and at some point, time of view, um, I'd like to have that, um, that light of sunshine on my show, and so they, they can talk about, uh, more about the parking for us, and how long they be doing it, how many years they did it, and that will be very interesting to see. It's like, wow, it's like you can, you can learn like how that event became and how how big it became too okay i i i like um i like it when they um count count all the pop cans when we used to have the the countdown for the ki for the pumpkin fast i i like that it was like that that's just um, amazing to see that, you know? And it's like, wow. If and um, when Chester TV filmed it in downtown Keene, they did a very good job, like, interviewing, um, L Luca, Luca Powers, Luca, who does, uh, cooking, uh, Lucas, um, and also, like, King Osborne, Aunt Felder, and all, all kinds of shows like that, um, interviewing, like, Dan Mitchell from WKBK, which is very interesting too, and interviewing um, the principal at King High back then too. It was so it was so very interesting to to see that, and it's like wow, and you know. You can look back at, I remember, um, when we had the mayor in Keene, the mayor Kendall Lane, he was a nice guy, um, he, he, he did a good job in talking about the Keene 
popping fast and how good it's going and you know that it it's just um very interesting to see so yeah so yeah um and it's like um other holidays coming too in a month or two and it's called um Christmas. Um I I love Christmas like being with family and um and all that like you get together. It's kind of like Thanksgiving. Like being with family family, the people you love. It's very interesting to be like that and seeing all kinds of holidays. And yeah, it's like when, when I talked about the weather for the Manana Gritson. It's pretty good. It's like, it, and you know, that, that's how work right there. Like you have to really put into it and really think what you're going to say be before you go on TV, you know? It's like, when you talk about the weather, it's like, it wouldn't be good to, uh, say, say if you first started doing the show, and then you screwed up, it's, it's not, it's not good. But, we, we all do that sometimes. We all screw up. Of course. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. As we all know. And sometimes I I want to I'm, I'm with my brother today and sometimes I want to have him back on my show so we can talk about <laughs> the fourth of July. Don't the the fourth of July. Sorry, I take that back. <laughs> so, yeah. So I I like doing my show. It's like remember, I remember one time I was talk about um. The planet of we on like the, the Jupiter, um, Jupiter, Milky Way. I don't mean the full. I mean the uh, the Milky Way. And I I like um, science, like how to learn about the Milky Way. Uh, Mars, Mars, yeah, out of space, like how people in outer space live and what and how to get food or something. It's like when you see, <laughs> when you see something like that, it's like, how? How do they do that? Like, and it's like very hard to explain, explain, um, explain that how people can live in other space. 
and how this is a good a good question how how can people sleep in outer space it's an next question it's it it's a hard answer um if anyone knows what the answer is just you can write down a white the answer down and yeah it's like wow sometimes um and the moon and the sun and you know in the winter time okay the sun goes up like eight um probably I say around seven AM I uh, maybe seven ten AM and it gets dark at four thirty PM and it stays dark from four forty into the next day but in the summertime it's light um all day long okay it's like from 6 a.m. it gets well probably more like 5 30 a.m. it gets light and after that it gets it stays light from 5 40 into 9 o'clock the night so the biggest daylight is June excuse me June 21st when the first, when it's the the first day of summer and you know people think how how that works it's like most of the people think different differently how it works and most of the other people think wow it it works that way you, you know it's like it's like how how can they do that like think if it works that way and it works that way okay and, and it's like say if you like if you like um if you're doing math math what's to say like you know what 20 plus 20 is right how do you it's like 40 and you know we we all learn how to do that it's like okay like what's 100 plus 100 that's gonna be tricky and I say 200 and you know believe it or not that takes a lot of practice you know cause when the kid says when you say to a kid it's like what's this and this how much is done and that they, they don't know but they just guess they were like gassing and gassing and you know we we all get that we we all do it's like it's it's hard because you don't have like a if we if we have like a, a calculator it makes it more tough 
and more difficult to think how much how much you say it has it's like that's really incredible and you know we all we all learn how to do it it's like when you read a book you learn what the words, words are and and it's okay if like somebody makes a mistake so that means you have to start over and read, read again you know we we all do that. Well, we we want in our time, and we have like one minute left. So I want to say thank you for enjoying this wonderful show. I just want to say it quickly again, happy birthday to my friend Rebecca, <laughs> and I'll see you all next week, same time, same station. Have a wonderful weekend and a nice Halloween. Thank you.